Hi, everyone. So this week, our focus is on forward folds, turning inward, practicing compassion towards others and towards ourself. Um, this is the longer version. Um, so there will be a shorter one also, so there'll be some similarities, but definitely some differences too. So, all right, let's start moving, get ready and feel better. Let's go. Okay, so let's, let's come to seated, okay? Let's come all the way down here. And we can take some butterfly feet um, to any extent, okay? So they can be outstretched out in front of you or they can be in. You can walk your sit bones up. Just get everything tall, okay? Drop your shoulders down. Back is straight, okay? Back is flat. We aren't slumping, we aren't doing this, okay? We are tall, standing tall. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale it out. Couple more breaths. We're gonna do some breath work. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count it on an inhalation of four, and then we're gonna exhale for six, okay? Ready? Exhale everything out. Deep breath in. One, two, three, four. Exhale it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it again. Inhale. One, two, three, four, Exhale out through your mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let things settle here for just a minute. Take your hands and go underneath your knees and then just bring your legs up, okay? Hug it in, so wrap your arms around your legs, kind of hug it in, you can lift and lower your toes a little, rock back and forth here. When you're ready, stretch your feet out, okay? We're gonna do Dandasana or Staff Pose here. So let's build it up first, okay? Let's, let's do it right here. So your big toes are touching each other, but there's a gap. Let me scoot back so you can see this better. Your big toes are touching, but there's a gap between your heels, okay? You're pressing out through this, this mound of your, um, the big toe mound, okay? You're pressing out away from yourself, okay? Your toes are pointing towards your shins, so though they're flexed, okay? Micro bend in your knees, okay? Your inner thighs, we're gonna roll them in and down, okay? Feel that engagement in your outer thighs when you do that. Back is long, shoulders are down. Hands are right next to your sit bones, to your hips, okay? And we're just gonna start to straighten our arms, press up here, okay? As we do that, we can kind of take our shoulders back a little bit so it's going to bring our sternum or our chest, heart center forward, but we don't want to do it too much. If we do it too much, we're going to, our low back's going to take that. It doesn't like it. So flex your toes, press into the floor, feel that lift, chins parallel to the floor. Feel that engagement. You're pressing into the mat with your, your uh, calves, okay? It doesn't seem like it's a very active pose, but it's quite active. Looking on compassion, thinking about your intention for your practice, whatever it may be. 
So there's the famous, you guys okay? All right, let's release. I don't wanna get stuck talking and keep everyone in that. Uh, shake your arms out, bend your knees, bend and straighten. All right, and now let's go. Let's roll to tabletop. You can talk from here, okay? <laughs> Take your arms, stretch them out in front of you to a nice puppy pose. So of course there's the famous Dalai Lama quote, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. So I think that last part we can think, obviously when we're compassionate to others, we're probably going to feel a little bit better. But also when we're compassionate to ourselves, show ourselves a little grace, a little forgiveness, we're going to feel better. <laughs> so. That's there if you want it. Or if there's something else speaking to you, go with that. All right, same thing here. Your inner arms, just like we did in Dandasana with our inner thighs, rotate them in and down. Okay, we're going to get engagement in our outer arms, outer upper arms when we do that. All right, when you're ready, come up to tabletop. <laughs> so sh wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and then come down to dolphin arms. Okay, from here, take your right thumb and then just tuck it into your left elbow crease and then take your left thumb and tuck it into your right elbow crease, okay? Get snug, so, so get, pull that in, okay? And then bring your hands together at the top, interlace your fingers, okay? Pull your lower belly in and we're just gonna take our chin past our hands and then bring it back. So outward compassion towards others, inward compassion towards ourselves. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale out. Let your forehead rest. When you're ready, bring your arms back to normal tabletop arms and we can take our down dog from here. Let's walk our feet to our hands, forward fold. Micro bend in our knees still. Flat back. Pressing our hips back, our heart centers forward. Back is straight, fingertips above knees. Micro bend, rise up, hands to heart center. <sighs> Breathe it out. We're gonna step it wide. Feet are at 45, okay? Arms go back, a nice star pose. We can, we can keep, we don't need to ever lock our knees, okay? So we can keep a little micro bend there, reach back. Being open, outward. And then let's rotate on the balls, or the, our, our balls and our heels of our feet, so they're straight now, okay? Belly goes back and down, micro bend in our knees, hands to hips, Bend our knees a lot and then forward fold, okay? As we come down, we can start to straighten or we can take it side to side here. Folding inward towards ourselves. All right, when you're ready, come back to center. Left hand, pick it up and place it right in the middle. Right hand extends forward and then up. Take your right arm down, take it to center, left arm goes forward and then up.
bring that down. Okay, micro bend in our knees, hands to hip, rise up. Let's come to warrior two feet. We can have a bend in our front knee. So warrior two feet, the heel of our, so for me it's my right leg is bent, pointing straight. My back foot is parallel to the shortening of the mat or slightly turned upwards, whatever's most comfortable. I'm pressing into the little pinky toe side of that foot just to engage my outer leg, okay? And then the heel of my front foot is intersecting the arch of my back, okay? So that's, when I say warrior two feet, that's what I mean, okay? So from here, we're gonna take our right hand, sweep it up, left hand to hip or left hand to heart center or down or behind you. Little reverse warrior here. Bring that arm down. Let's just rotate on our heels here and our feet. Same thing. Other side, reverse warrior. All right, sweep that arm down. Take your arms, swing them up, and then rotate on the the ball of your back foot. So now everything's pointing straight forward. Come down to get to down dog. Okay. Okay, let's come back to tabletop. From here, just pick up your right foot, plant it between your hands. We're gonna set up for low lunge. So get, get strong in your feet and then rise up, low lunge. Pull your low belly in, this hip crease is pulling back. Your leg, your knee is, it's either behind your ankle or slightly, can be above it or slightly behind it, okay? Not past it. And it's tracking straight, it's not going side to side, okay? All right, take your hands down. Roll back into that little half monkey fingertips at each side of your knee. All right, take your hands back forward. Bring your right leg back, same thing, other side, low lunge. Set it up. Plant your hands down, half monkey. Back is flat, straight, just like in butterfly from earlier. All right, take it up, back to tabletop, back to down dog. Walk your feet back, or I'm sorry, walk your hands back to your feet this time, okay? Backwards walk here. Bend in your knees. Flat back, rise up. Hands to heart center. All right, from here, Take your right foot, just big step forward, okay? Just your feet, we're just gonna come to high lunge from here. So, just like low lunge, except this back leg is lifted. And imagine there's a string pulling it back, so we're pulling it up like that. We've got some lift there, okay? So um, high lunge here, low lunge if you want, okay? All right, from here, take your hands, swing them down, okay? And then walk your foot, your right foot, so it's now at the edge of your mat. Bring your hands inside, adjust your legs so we can come to like a high dragon. If you're not loving this, just come to your knee to a low, low dragon, okay? Okay. 
Okay, pick up your left hand, place it in the center, reach your right hand forward, and then up. Plant it back down. Okay, now. Go ahead and come to your left knee and then just kind of sit back. It's a little wide, wider half monkey, okay? And then bring your right leg back, back to down dog. All right, walk your hands back again to your feet. Bend your knees, flat back, rise up. Okay, this time left foot goes forward, high lunge, other side. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take our hands down. Same thing here. Walk your left foot so it's on the edge of your mat. Hands go inside. Higher load, dragon, your call. Push the mat away with your hands, okay? Back is straight. We're pressing through that back heel towards whatever's behind you, okay? Right hand goes to center, left hand goes forward and then up. Bring your left hand back down, lower your right knee, roll back, half, half monkey here, a wider half monkey. All right, take it back forward, bring your left knee back, adjust, lower on tabletop again, tuck your toes, down dog. All right, walk your hands again back to your feet. Bend your knees. Flat back, rise up. Step it wide again. Do star pose again. So feet are at 45, arms back. Let's rotate our feet straight. Belly goes back. Hands to hip, bend your knees, forward fold. Take it to the side. Take it to the side. <laughs> Left hand to center, right arm out and up. Take your right arm down. Right arm to center, left arm out and up. All right, bend your knees, hands to hip, come up, warrior two feet, reverse warrior. Swing that arm down, rotate on your feet. Warrior two feet, other side, reverse warrior. Okay, ready? We're gonna windmill it, rotate, come all the way down, knee up and down dog. All right, let's roll to plank here. It's a nice plank, pull our belly up. Now either we can lower our knees and come all the way down, or we can lower on our, onto our belly, okay? When we're ready, let's go, let's lower all the way down. Okay. Let's bend our knees, take our feet side to side here. Take your arms, 
making number 11 dolphin arms in front of you. Elbows are under your shoulders or slightly forward of your shoulders, okay? Press your shoelace part of your feet into the mat. Pull your belly in so your hips are making like a half circle, okay? Your upper, your upper outer thighs are going out. Roll them out, okay? So that engagement, pull the belly in a little bit more, okay? Back is long, back of neck is long. We're looking straight here, nice sphinx pose. Really pull that low belly in. Don't want to injure our low back, okay? Okay. When you're ready, let's make a little arm pillow. Rest our forehead, bend our knees, and then take our feet side to side. Okay, bring our hands right on each side of our heart center, elbows back, press back to child's pose, okay? You ready? Come to tabletop. And then let's turn our hands so now our fingers are pointing towards our knee. Very gently here. If you've got wrist issues, this you might not want to do this, but you can walk them in a little bit closer so it's not such a stretch. But just pointing inwards towards ourself. Reminding ourselves we need some gentleness sometimes too, a little compassion. Pull your low belly in. All right, when you're ready, change your hands back to pointing forward, okay? And then come back down to dolphin arms. Let's. Take our thumbs to our elbow creases on each side and then clasp our hands. We're gonna do our little lizard here again. So take your chin past your hands and then lower back your forehead to the mat. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale forward, exhale down. A couple more times. All right, when you're ready, bring your hands back to normal. Tabletop, tuck your toes, take it back. Down dog. Let's make your back long here, really press out. Press through your heels, press through your hands. Walk your hands back to your feet, rise up. Oh. Take hands to cactus arms. Okay. Ready? From here, we're going to step it, step forward again. So take our, I'm actually getting a little toasty. Let me, let me take this off for a sec. Step forward into high, high lunge on this side, okay? <laughs> All right. I lunge again, this side. All toes are pointing straight forward, okay? Pull through that hip crease, knees tracking straight, back of thighs pulling up, arms up. All right, hands to hips. Left foot meets right, right foot goes back, switch.
All right, hands back to hip, right foot comes up. Reach your arms over your head, hands to heart center, bend your knees forward, fold. Flat back, take it down. Extend your right foot back, left foot back, plank. Press your toes forward, push yourself forward with your toes, lower down to your belly, child's pose. Take it up, down dog. Again, hands to feet. Bend your knees, flat back. Take it all the way up. Hands to heart center. Step forward again. High lunge. Arms extend up. Hands to heart center. All right, we're gonna do high dragon again or low. Do what, what your body is telling you to do. So here, let's take our hands down. Okay, walk our foot to the edge of our mat. And we can either lower our knee here or keep it up. Hands are inside, okay? All right, left hand goes to center, right hand goes forward and then up. Right hand goes down. And let's take it to three-legged plank. Three-legged or regular plank, your call. Press the down dog. Plank, press yourself forward. Knees or bellies lower all the way down. Child's pose. Tabletop, down dog. Hips to that space where the ceiling meets the wall. Heels towards the mat. They don't have to touch. Walk your hands to your feet. Bend your knees, flat back. Rise up. Left foot goes forward, high lunge. All right, take your arms down, high dragon, other side, or low dragon. Hands inside, left foot is on the edge of your mat now, okay? Right hand to center, left arm goes forward and then up. Ten goes down. Left foot back, down dog. Roll to plank. Knees down, lower down to belly. Elbows straight back, press back, child's pose. Walk your right hand a few steps over, cross your left wrist over your right wrist. Press into your left hip. Walk it back to center, press out. Take your left hand over, right wrist crosses over left. Press into that. Back to center. Take it back up. Tuck your toes. Down dog. 
Again, hands go to feet. Bend your knees, flat back, rise up. Step it wide. Let's do star again, okay? Reach back, feet are at 45, arms reaching back, belly still pulled in. All right, toes are now straight. Bend your knees, hands to hips, forward fold, folding inward. Walk it forward a little bit more. Take it back. Okay, walk yourself to the front here. We're still low, bend your knee, rotate yourself. Take it back to down dog. Plank. Lower down, child's. Tabletop, down dog. Right foot goes back, bend your knee, plant your right foot between your hands. Stay low, okay? Walk your left foot up a couple steps like that and then just start to straighten your right leg. Look toward your knees. Let your head just kind of be heavy. No pyramid here. If you have blocks, this is a nice pose to do blocks in, or you can just reach for your leg or hands on each side. Keep a micro bend in that front leg. We're gonna start to straighten it, but we don't wanna lock it all the way, okay? Left foot meets right. Take it back to plank. Pull your belly in, press your toes forward, knees lowered in on it. Child's. Down dog. Left foot extends back. Plant your left foot, stay low, okay? Walk your right foot up a little bit and then start to straighten that left knee. Okay, take your right foot, meet your left, <clears throat> and then take it back to plank again. Knees down, and then let's come to tabletop. Reverse our hands towards ourselves. And then walk your hands out to puppy pose. Lower your forehead to the mat. All right, press up. <clears throat> Your toes down, dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, forward fold. Bend your knees, rise up. Hands to heart center. Whew. Let things kind of settle here. Adjust. Coming back to our theme if you want, our intention. All right, we're gonna take our right leg, step it forward again, but we're gonna come to warrior, warrior one feet instead of all toes pointing straight. So warrior one feet, your, so your 
For me, it's my right foot is pointing straight forward. There's a bend in my right knee. Same thing we do in all of our bends, right? The knee is tracking straight, not side to side, okay? It's over the ankle or behind it, not past it. Our back foot in warrior one is pointing towards the upper corner of your mat, okay? And it can be as wide as you need it to be for stability purposes and, and for it to be nice on your low back, okay? So adjust accordingly. And then we can come into your full expression of your warrior one. Again, as in all, <clears throat> excuse me, as in most all poses, we're pulling that lower belly back, okay? Dropping our shoulders down. Pressing that pinky toe side of our back foot, press that into the mat, get some lift on the inner leg. All right, hands to hip, pick up your left foot to meet your right. This time right foot goes back, warrior one other side. Okay, set up your feet first, in the extent you need. And our hips are not straight, okay? They're gonna be at an angle, our hip bones. Okay, we don't want to crank them straight. Okay, it's too hard on our low back. Too much going on there. All right, hands to hip, right foot meets left. Arms above your head, press your hands together, bring them to your heart center. Step it wide, star pose. Warrior two feet. Left foot forward, reverse warrior. Back to star. Rotate on your feet. Warrior two feet, right foot is straight now. Reverse warrior, other side. All right, bring that down. Star. Feet are now pointing straight. Bend your knees, hands to hips. Forward fold. Take it side to side. Left hand to center, right hand out, and then up. Right arm down, right hand to center, left arm out, and then up. Okay, walk yourself. Stay low, walk yourself forward. Come to down dog. Right leg goes back. Plant your right foot on the outside of your right hand, okay? You can stay here high dragon or you can lower your knee down to low dragon. Your call. Right foot goes back, down dog. Left foot extends back. Left foot goes to the outside of the left hand. High or low dragon again on this side. Left foot goes back, down dog. Roll forward to plank. Knees down. Make 
take an arm pillow, bend your knees, take it side to side. Hands to each side of heart center, press to child's pose. Tabletop, down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Forward fold. Lift up your toes. Bend in your knees, flat back. Rise up, Tadasana. All right, we're gonna do our warrior one feet. Right foot goes forward, set it up. All right, arms can swing back behind you. You can, you can grab your palms like we did for Blizzard, or you can just grab your forearms, okay, whatever feels better to you. I don't want anyone like grabbing up here and then pulling down through their wrists. That can really damage your wrists. So bring your arms back as much as you can. If your hands can touch, great. If there's no tension in your wrists, but if there's tension, just do this. It's okay. All right. All right. Make some space. We're going to forward fold into this into a nice humble warrior. Make sure you've got enough space for yourself to do that. Okay. All right. Ready? Pull the belly back. Lean forward here. Let your crown just be heavy. Look back at your thigh. Make sure that front knee is tracking straight still. Couple more breaths. All right, take your hands to the mat and then rotate on the ball of your back foot. So now your foot is straight, painting straight forward. It's not in warrior one feet anymore. Okay, and then walk your right foot to the edge of your mat. Hands go inside. Left hand to center, right hand forward. Up. Drop your left knee down, roll back. All right, hands go forward, legs back, we're in tabletop. Tuck it, take it to down dog. Hands walk back to feet, forward fold. Flat back, mountain, warrior one, other side, left foot forward, set it up, belly's back, we're just going to fold at our hips, okay? Make sure everything's stable and make sure it's wide enough before you fold forward, okay? When you're ready. Arms can do whatever you want them to do. For me, interlacing them and bringing them up, it's too much on my wrist. So I'm doing this, okay? Forward, just my forearms, okay? You ready? Humble warrior, other side.
right, take your hands down, rotate your right foot so now it's straight, okay? Left foot goes to the edge of the mat, hands inside, okay? Right hand to center, left arm forward, and then up. Bring your arm down. Right knee goes down, step back. A little, little wide half monkey here. All right, back to tabletop. We're gonna come back to seated, okay? Let's go back into our butterfly, like we did. The beginning, tall, shoulders down. Notice if it feels different to you, okay? All right, when you're ready, cup your knees, bring them up, and then extend your feet out. We're gonna do staff pose again, okay? So remember, flex your toes, pressing through the mounds of our feet out. Our big toes are touching, but our, there's a gap between our heels. Calves are pushing into the mat. Our inner thighs are in and down. Roll them, okay, feel all that? Hands to your hips, okay? Shoulders are back, but not too much. Belly's pulled in. Sternum, heart centers facing outward, but not too much, okay? <laughs> All right, now start to straighten your arms. Feel that lift. A lot going on, a lot to think about here. All right, let's release, shake that out. Lift and lower your knees. All right. Okay, let's take it, let's take it down to our backs, okay? All the way, all the way down. Okay. All right. From here, let's bring our knees up, nice 90 degree. And we're just gonna tap our right toes down Bring them up, left toes down, bring them up. Alternate here, okay? Get a little core work. Stabilize yourself, take your arms wide if you want or if you like them in closer, your call. Few more. Let's let's do. Let's give our abs some some work here. Pretty gentle way to work them. Um, couple more breaths. Keep tapping. All right, we're done. Hug that in. Roll it side to side. Let's set up for bridge pose. So plant your feet flat on the mat. Walk. So your feet should be number 11, just like we do with our arms um, and dolphin arms and stuff. So feet should be at 11. Walk your heels in as close as you can to your bum, okay? Press your head into the mat and then pick up your shoulders and tuck them down, okay? Hands. Reach them up, make a fist, squeeze, squeeze tight, squeeze tight, too tight, and release. Squeeze gently now, and then just bring your elbows in at your side. Depending on how wide your shoulders are will depend on where your elbows can go, so. All right, hands go palm down next to you, okay? And we're going to pull our low belly in, and we're just gonna lift up the bridge pose here, okay? 
knees are tracking straight. They might want to go out. We want to engage in like, just like we did in all our warrior poses. We're bringing those knees straight, okay? And lift up a little bit more. Lift up your toes if you want. Keep those knees straight. Pick up your heels. Now you're on your tippy toes. Notice how that feels. And then very slowly, keeping your heels up, keep your bum up still. It's not down yet, it's not down yet. Slow, 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 slow. Keep your heels up. Keep them up, keep them up. And then now start to slowly lower them down. The last thing to lower down. Okay, walk your feet to the side and then drop your knees side to side here. Okay. Wanna do it again? <laughs> One more time? Might as well. Might as well, right? Okay. So take your feet back to where they're hip width apart, making the number 11. Same thing, let's set it up. Arms up, squeeze. Squeeze and release. Bring that down. Lower your shoulders. Ready? Pull your low belly in and then lift up. Knees are straight. Feet are pressing into the mat. They're working here too, okay? Palms pressing into the mat for stability. All right. Lift up your heels, come to your tippy toes, and let's start to lower, super slow, super slow, bum is still up, keep your bum up. Okay, keep lowering, last to lower are your heels. Take it to the side and drop them, side. gently drop them, <laughs> drop them side to side, feeling that, okay. All right, and when you're ready, let's leave our knees facing the right, take our arms out, and let's look to our left. Take your knees up. Now let's take them to the left. Take our arms out and let's look to our right. All right, lift it up. Walk your feet back to center. Hug it in. You can just roll a little side to side here. If you wanna do a happy baby, feet are parallel to the ceiling. Grab your big toes, okay? You can extend and straighten one leg and then the other. And if they're done with that, or when you're done with that, we can set up for Shavasana. Take your legs, extend them out. Sometimes it's nice to put like a pillow under your knees if you have one. Put a blanket on or um, sweatshirt, whatever, socks. Whatever makes you feel good, okay? Again, let's, let's lower those shoulder blades down a little bit. Let our palms face upward, our feet just kind of flop out. 
Let everything get heavy. Let your mat or ground or whatever's beneath you support you. Done your work. Relax your jaw and your eyes. Relax your ankles, your knees, your hips. When you're ready, take a deep breath in, exhale it out. Make really gentle this. Bend your fingers, extend them out. Really slow, really gentle. Lift and lower your knees. Bring awareness back to your body. Bend your knees. Hug your knees into your chest. Softly open your eyes. Roll to the side. Slowly come up. Nice. Easy seated pose. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Bring your arms up over your head, press your palms together at your heart center. Thank yourself for practicing today, showing up for your present self and your future self. Thank you for exploring compassion May you be okay, may you be healthy, may you be free from suffering, may you continue to be awesome, and may you progress. Namaste. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day. See you.